Hello, I'm Robbie Power, and today I'll show you how to get started using Spread for Windows Forms from Grape City Power Tools. We'll take a look at how to add Spread to a Windows Forms project in Visual Studio, how to bind Spread to a data source, and how to use Spread Designer to enhance the design of Spread and improve the overall appearance of the application. Let's get started. To begin using Spread, open Visual Studio and create a new Windows Forms application. Open the toolbox and drag the Grape City Spread for Windows Forms control to the form. When Spread is created on the form, Spread Designer is invoked by default. Let's close Spread Designer for now, but we'll talk more about it later. Connecting Spread to a data source is easy. You'll see that most of the steps to set up binding the application to a data source are performed on the .NET data objects, not on Spread. Spread can attach to all of the standard .NET data providers, and the design time changes to hook up Spread are minimal. This sample will use the OLADB adapter and connection to attach to the Northwind database. Drag the OLADB data adapter to the component tray and connect using the Northwind data connection. Generate the SQL statement that the adapter uses to populate the data set that Spread will use as a data source. For this sample, let's choose to query the Order Details Extended view. Complete the setup, then generate the data set. Now go to the Property view of Spread and set the data source property to the data set we just generated and set the data member property to the data member we specified when we created the data adapter. Now the data binding wiring is complete, but we need to tell the data adapter to fill the data set with data from the database. We can do this by creating an event handler for the form load event. Build the application and run it. One line of code, and not even a spread specific line of code is all that was required to get our application running. It works, but it's not very pretty. The headers are a mess, column widths are not correct, and the currency values are displayed as decimal numbers. OK, let's do some basic changes to improve this application. Invoke Spread Designer from the context menu on the spread control. The first thing I notice is that columns 2 through 4 pertain to the product details. A better user interface would be achieved by grouping these columns together as product-specific data. To do this, there needs to be two rows of column headers. That's done by setting the column header row count property to 2. Now select the column headers and invoke the headers editor from the Spread Designer context menu. Header grouping is performed by setting spans in the headers. The first column, order ID, pertains to the entire order. So this header needs to span both rows of the header. Setting the row span to 2 achieves this. An order number is a more understandable name than the database column name of order ID. The product grouping is achieved by spanning the title product across the top row of the three columns containing product data. Center the text horizontally across the span columns to further convey the grouping concept. Now set the subheaders to the titles number, name, and price. The quantity, discount, and extended price headers pertain to the entire order, so each of them should span the two header rows. Apply these changes to the headers, and our design is getting better already. Now adjust the column widths. The price and total price columns contain currency values. Simply set the cell type for these columns to currency. Similarly, the discount column is a percentage value. Set the discount column to percent cell type. Apply these changes back to the spread control on the form. Build the application and run it. The application looks a lot better already. This is an order detail view, so it would be nice to see each order grouped. Spread provides multiple ways to achieve this but the simplest way is to auto-merge the order number column. Invoke Spread Designer, select the order number column, and set the merge policy property to restricted. 
More information on merge policy and the entire spread object model can be found in our thorough documentation which is included in the installation. Apply the changes back to spread, build the application, then run. There are many usability improvements that you can make to this application using Spread Designer without having to write any code. However, if you wish to dive deeper into the spread object model, you'll be amazed by the level of customization Spread provides. Grape City Spread allows you to completely control your user interface to create perfect user experiences. For free trial version downloads of products, or to learn more about other helpful tools from Grape City, go to gcpowertools.com. Follow Grape City on Twitter and Facebook, and be sure to check out more Grape City videos to see what you're missing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to watch our new videos. I'm Robbie Powell. Thank you for watching and choosing Grape City, the world's best-selling component vendor.